Hey, Go Green Team, Camille Daly here, um, coming in from sunny Florida. I'm slightly dressed up for a little trunk or treat tonight um, because it's almost Halloween. Um, so I'm here to share customer care using your VIP group. Um, when I first started with Norwex, they encouraged me to, you know, open up a group on Facebook for all of my friends, my family, my hosts, my customers, anybody that was interested in learning about Norwex and keeping in touch with me. Um, so I have been fostering that group for almost seven years now, and I continue to use that group each and every week um, to perform things like customer care, customer appreciation, things like that. Um, I have stayed consistent with posting on Mondays. Um, I call it Funny Monday, so I'll post things like memes, um, funny cleaning jokes, things like that. And everybody loves that. It's just a fun little way to start off the week. Um, and people remember me that way. Again, we want to stay at the top of their mind um, so they can think about ordering or purchasing or hosting, things like that. So I just try to keep it light on Monday. Sometimes people will leave comments. Sometimes they'll just like it or laugh, um, but they're usually really funny. And you can find these jokes or memes anywhere. Um, I mean, anywhere that I see a graphic that I like, I just save it. Um, I'm constantly stealing things from other people. You can use the VIP um, Go Green Team group that you know we share all the graphics in. Um, there's plenty of places to find things like that. On Tuesdays, I've always been consistent with calling it Cleaning Tips Tuesday. And I will post things like how to use products, um, different and creative ways to use some of our products, um, before and after photos. Um, I'll even do some lives, live cleaning demos that day too. Um, here's a, an example on a Cleaning Tips Tuesday. The dish mat, for instance. Most people don't know whether the mesh side goes up or whether the microfiber side goes up. Um, it's the mesh side, so, you know, just kind of like little informative cleaning tips. Or um, recently in this month, I also showcased the new products. Um, and then I asked everybody, you know, what their favorites were and things like that. Um, and also showing the new products in action for Cleaning Tips Tuesday. Let's see, and then Friday, today's Friday, so actually posted in my group today, um, I do a like happy Friday prize day. So it's always something very interactive. Um, they definitely have to comment on that post. Um, I like to keep you know my algorithm good in that group so people keep seeing it and coming back to it. So some examples of some graphics and ideas of posting for uh, Friday prize day is, you know, how old were you when you started your first job? Um, it could be holiday themed, you know, like what's your, what's gonna be your, you know, scary Halloween costume. I try to kind of keep it in the theme of the month too sometimes. Um, another one was pick a spot to have your morning coffee and there was like four different options, you know, couch, patio, kitchen table, you know, your master bedroom, things like that. Um, so those are always super fun. And then I, part of my customer care is sending them um, freebies and prizes and things like that. So I sometimes will send a sample of our Ultrazyme or a sample of our Up. Um, I also give away makeup removal cloths and body cloths. You can actually put that in a regular envelope. I usually just like fold it up into a sheet, um, you know, with a little thank you or something. I can put that right in here and then I mail it with one of these stamps. I forget how much these stamps are worth, um, but they're the non-machinable surcharge stamps because this won't go through with a regular stamp. Um, I've tried it and sometimes they get eaten up, I guess when they go through their machine or whatever. And it is a little bit of weight. So I just always put these on and my customers consistently get them. I've used this stamp for almost seven years now um, and I love them. So it's a little bit more money, but it's still very inexpensive to send a prize out to your customer. And then it gets a consumable in their hand as well. Um, so I have a lot of people that order the laundry detergent or the Ultrazyme dishwasher detergent because I've sent these to them. Um, something I'm doing this month, rather than sending you know a freebie like this, 
Um, I'm calling this month Give Thanks. And this says, you are a winner. Shop small with me this holiday season because obviously we're getting ready for, you know, the holidays, Thanksgiving, Christmas, Black Friday, things like that. Um, so I'm offering whoever wins in my group on that Friday prize day, free shipping on your next order of $50 or more. And then I just put an expiration date of December 15th. So that way, most likely their items will come um, in time for Christmas. So that's another idea. Make a little coupon for them. Um, let's see. What else was I going to say? Oh, and then any of the other days, like, you know, because I talked about Monday, Tuesday, and Friday. Any of the other days, I post things um, like the Norwex Flash Sales, um, mystery host parties that I'm having, the monthly specials, the host specials, any joining opportunities, any other, just any other informative information. Um, sometimes I also send them, I forgot to say this, in the the little prize thing i'll print out the host rewards for the month or the joining specials for the month or the customer specials whatever i feel like is going to grab their attention the most and i'll send that with a little sample as well oh also the detergent slips or strips are a great thing to send to the new detergent strips okay so um i guess that's how i've been kind of keeping in touch most with my customers and my hosts um, we have a lot of fun in my VIP group. It's been great. Um, and I hope you guys take away some tips. Hope everybody has a great weekend and a happy Halloween. Bye.